Hi friends, it's Mrs. McCarver and it's time for today's reading lesson. We have started to focus on our characters and what is happening in our stories. Last week we talked about the events that happen in the beginning, middle, and end. We talked about our characters and we talked about how our characters were feeling during those different events. So today we're going to focus on another part of our story, the setting. The setting is where or when a story takes place. Remember, the characters were the people or place of people, animals, or things that a story is about. The events were things that happened. Now the setting is where the story takes place, like maybe an apartment building or the park outside the mountains, the desert, the beach, school, a birthday party, the circus. All of these pictures are examples of places that your stories might take place. It could even take place in outer space. Think about the books you're writing in our writing lessons. You had to decide where your story was going to take place, right? So that's something important that we notice as we're reading a book. Sometimes the setting tells us more about the characters or helps us to understand the story. So let's look at a book that I've been reading. I'm gonna make my camera nice and big so I can show you the book. I have this book, Hiccups, okay? And I'm gonna read a little bit of it, and then I'm gonna show you what I do as a reader to think about the setting. Hiccups. Kate is at a party. She has the hiccups. Hick! Did you hear something? I heard something. The very first sentence said Kate is at a party. That is telling me a little bit about the setting. She's at a party. That's where this story is taking place. Drink a glass of water, says Jane. Kate drinks a glass of water. Oh, let me look a little bit more at the pictures now. The words told me she was at a party. There she is. Hmm, now I'm noticing this party is somewhere outside. So more information that I've learned about the setting is that this is taking place outside. Hick. Her hiccups are not gone. Okay, well, they're still at the party and they're still outside. Okay, the setting has not changed in this book. Hold your nose, says Joe. Kate holds her nose. Has our setting changed? Nope, they're still outside. I see the trees, the same wall, the flower beds. Hick! She still has the hiccups. This story is still taking place at the party outside. Stand on your head, says Pat. Kate stands on her head. Okay, so my story is continuing, but my setting has stayed the same. She's still outside, she's still at the birthday party, and she's still trying to get rid of those hiccups. I give up, says Kate. I hate hiccups. Bang! They're still there, they're at that party. What was that bang? Kate sat down on a balloon. The hiccups are gone. So I've read this entire book. Now I'm going to think, where did this story take place? Well, this story took place at a birthday party that was being held outside. I think maybe at a park or in someone's backyard. In the beginning, the middle, and the end, all the events happen in the same place in this book. I want you to try this now. Think about a book you have at home. Today when you do your reading, <clears throat> I want you to pick one of the books, one of the fiction books you're reading, and notice what is the setting. Where does your story take place? Is it just one place? Like my book Hiccups? I want you to send me a video after you're finished reading to tell me about the setting in your book. So. Take some time to read. You could read books on your computer, on Mayan, or books from your baggie, and pay close attention to where your story is taking place. 